We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Colorado Rockies and the Milwaukee Brewers. Digging in, Rymel Tapia, and we are set for baseball here this evening. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Striding in for the Rockies, Daniel Murphy. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Fielded cleanly, and he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Here's Nolan Arenado. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Inside and low, a two and one. Hit back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Batting four. The right fielder, number nine. At the plate now, Charlie Blackman. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Little chopper back to the mound. Scooped up. Throw on to smoke at first, and the side is retired. Here now is the center fielder, Lorenzo Kane, to get us started in the bottom half of the first. The 1 2. Misses for the second ball. Popped up. A leap and what a catch. Here's Brock Holt now. One out, nobody on. A pie. Two and one now. And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar. It's two and two. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. And this gets on him quickly here and deflects off him. But fortunately, he'll hold on at first with just a single. Standing in now, Christian Yelich. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. <laughs> Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. One thing's clear, he's not afraid to pitch inside, right? One pitch ducks him away, then he comes right back with another one. So clearly this pitcher, he's not afraid to work that inner half of the plate. Now, oh my, this ball is crushed. Look at it go! Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. In now, Keston Hiera. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Lifetime versus this pitcher. He's a perfect two for two. Line drive, base hit to right. Batting fifth. The pitcher. Omar. Into the box, Omar Narvaez. And it's one and two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. And he popped him up. Story backs up and takes care of it. Two away. 
So a runner at first with two away. And that'll bring up Avi Sayu Garcia. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. And that will bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate to say the least. That's swung on and missed, so good work on the mound will take care of the National League's leading hitter, and there's one away. The 2-1 home. It is strike two, swinging. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. It was an 0 for 4 day for him in yesterday's loss. The 1 2. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. At the plate, Dom Nunez. The ball in two strikes. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Here's Eric Sogard. Fouled off. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Tapia. He's got it one away. So the base is empty here with one away. And in next, the switch hitting power bat of Justin Smoke. Now the three and two pitch. And a fastball misses there, ball four. So a runner at first with one man gone. And in the bat next will be Freddie Peralta. The 1 1 pitch. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. Oh, but the feet of the shortstop is off the mark. Fortunately, the center fielder's in the right spot. Next for Milwaukee, Lorenzo King. He popped out in his first trip. Now both runners on the move. On the line, that's a base hit. And that's going to plate the runner from second as this is now a three to one ball game. Now Into the box now, Brock Holt. And that misses two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit out towards second. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And tack on one more, make it a four to one lead. Now that right fielder, Christian. Yelich. To the plate now, Christian Yelich. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Swing and he popped him up over in foul territory back behind third. Arenado will look this one in and that's out number two. Now batting. Digging in now for the Brewers. Keston Hira. He reached on a single in his first truck. Yeah and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. 
Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. Throw to second for the four shot, and the side is retired. So here now is the pitcher, Antonio Senzatello. 9 1 and 2 do up. 1 1. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Yelich is under it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So one away here with the bases empty. And striding into the plate next will be Rymel Tapia. Here's the one and one pitch. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Another one-two delivery. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. Around first, digging for two. And he'll reach second now with one away. Up next for Colorado, the first baseman, Daniel. And the plate now, Daniel Murphy. Two, two balls, balls and a strike. Right. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. And this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Now back. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And in next, it'll be the perennial MVP candidate, third baseman Nolan Arenado. Two balls, two strikes to Nolan Arenado. This guy uses that two-seamer to set up his other pitches. Two-seamer in, breaking ball away. And there's a base hit on the line. He'll come home with it. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. The white field, number nine. In now, Charlie Blackman. Oh. Three and two now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Pulled toward right center field. After it is Yelich. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the third now, and next to hit is the catcher, Omar Narvaez. The 1-1. One, one. Popped him up. Hampson backs up a bit, and he takes charge for the first out. So here's Avisayu Garcia. Garcia. Here now the 2-2. There's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Digging in for his second at-bat. Eric Sogard. He flew out in his last at-bat. No, 1-1 one, one home. It's a fastball down below the knees. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he is in the second with a two-out double. The first baseman, number 12, Justin. Standing in now, Justin Smoke. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Now in the box, David Dahl comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. The 1-1 one, one home. It's fouled away. The one two misses ball two. <laughs> the 
curveball got him swinging for the first down. In now for Colorado, Garrett Hampson. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat, he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Here comes Yelich, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. The catcher, number three. At the plate, Dom Nunez. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Two and two to the Colorado catcher. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Dull at second. Hampson at first, one gone. Lifted the other way to left center. Kane is after it. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Antonio Senzatella. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. That's right there at the belt, 1 and 2 now. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next will be the pitcher, Freddie Peralta. One and two to the Brewers pitcher. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. And that misses two and two. Four runs, six hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now back. Into the box now, Brock Holt. Count is one and two now. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Holt has a 280 batting average. This is pulled into right. That's in there. Base hit. And the lead will move to three as it's now a five to two game. The battle. The right field. To the plate now, Christian Yelich. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Oni pops it up. Coming in is Dahl, but he won't get there. It falls in. Jairo Diaz answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. So now to the plate, Keston Hiera. A bouncer up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Long throw to third. And he is in there. Into the box, Omar Narvaez. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Diaz features an absolute power slider, and he uses it a lot. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement on that pitch. 
Yeah, Matt, and this is one of the reasons why this guy is so hard to square up and get the barrel of bat on. He throws hard in this slider that he throws. It, it takes a sharp break down, and it's really hard to get the barrel on it. You'll see lots of swings and misses, and he can throw this pitch three, four times in a row. And the run is in to score from third. In now, Avisail Garcia hit the other way out toward right field. Blackman is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now to the plate, Eric Sogard. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Three runs already home here. Fastball in there, three and two. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Here's Justin Smoke now. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Tapia. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. set for the start of the inning and digging in is the outfielder Rymel Tapia on a line that's a base hit so that puts the Rockies leadoff hitter aboard to start the inning the first baseman number nine Daniel stepping in now Daniel Murphy, Murphy. in there and it's full three and two And he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. Brent Suter comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Nolan Arenado will be his first test out of the bullpen, and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Ball three. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. This is hit high and deep out to left. Garcia is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. Runners at the corners here with one guy in the inning. And into bat next, the big time RBI man, Charlie Blackman. A ball and two strikes now. Two runs, six hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Rockies so far. Nope. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. The catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. So two are gone in the Rockies' half of the fifth. And in the bat next will be the outfielder, David Dahl. He's set, and the 2-2 pitch. Pitch is popped up. Sogard is there, and the side is retired. Ryan Braun will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number eight, Ryan Braun. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. And that 
and misses there, so he runs the count full now. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Outside, two and one. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Stepping in and ready for another shot, Brock Holt trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. David Phelps takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Now pitching for the Brewers. Number 41. Trevor Story steps in now. No hits to this point. Here now the 2 2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So stepping in, Garrett Hampson. He singled his last time up. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Trying to bunt his way aboard to no avail. It's two and two. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Three two pitch. High in the air out to center field. Kane is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Ready once again, Dom Nunez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The three and one pitch. Sent out to straightaway center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring up Christian Yelich. Here now the 2 2. Keston Hiura will be next. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Second baseman. Striding forward now, the Brewers' cleanup hitter, Keston Hiura. He's two for three and looking for more here. Down the left field line and deep. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Here's a look over to first and a dive, but he's back in there. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Stepping up now, Omar Narvaez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3 2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four, anyways. Here comes the payoff pitch. There he goes. Lifted the other way out to left center. Tapia is there now, and he has it. Two gone. So here is Avisayo Garcia. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Runner on first with two away. Garcia. It's one and two. Runners off for second. Hit on the ground is short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Alex Claudio is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 58. Brendan Rogers is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Roger. Roger. 
swung on and missed. One and two now. Claudio is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Now that so the Rockies lineup turns over Rimo. and to the plate. Rimal Tapia, two for three with a double on his line so far. The 1-1. Nope. That's inside. I got three one. Three Bases are empty, one, one man out. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Now at the plate, Daniel Murphy. Daniel Murphy. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Kane going back. And this will get to the wall now out near the Milwaukee bullpen. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Up next to Colorado, the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. At the plate, Nolan Arenado. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. Two away now in the Colorado now seventh. Back. And that'll bring up Charlie Blackman. Blackman. Now the one and one pitch. Back up the middle and through into center field. A base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. The tag and they'll get him at second. And with that the side is retired. Jake McGee will come on now and make now his 55th appearance, appearance of the year. Number 51, Jake McGee. To the plate now, Eric Sogard. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. That one drilled him. He's safe. A great recovery, but he couldn't get it there in time. Now batting. The first baseman. Justin. Into the box now. Justin Smoke. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Ben Gamble will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. None out. Runners at first and second. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. He's got it. One there, but no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. Now One away for the Brewers in their half of the seventh, and that'll bring up Lorenzo Cain. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Blackman looking up. Davis enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. At the plate now, Brock Holt lined to the right side. But this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. In is Christian Yelich. Bases are empty here with two men in. Pulled toward right center field. Waiting on it is Tapia. And that's the third out. Seven, 
Corbin Burns has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Leading off the inning, David Dahl, and they'll need him to get something going here. And that's ball three now as it just misses below the zone. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. Reined in. And they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. Now batting. The football. Trevor. Story. Into the box. Trevor Story. Two and two. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Fastball is outside. It's full now. Three and two. Garrett Hampson will be next. He'll try it again, three and two. That misses. So a single and a walk. And it's first and second with nobody out. Number one. Stepping up to the plate, Garrett Hampson. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. If you can't throw strikes, you're not going to be out there very long. First and second here with nobody out. Line drive to left. Garcia is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Stepping in, Dom Nunez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Nunez. Rip down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Line to the right side. But that's a foul ball. The three, two, one more time. And there's a base hit on the line. Dahl is on his way home. And a relay home, but not in time as he's across with the run. J.P. Fireisen will come on now and make his 55th appearance of the year. Wade. Josh Fuentes will get the call to pinch hit here, and he'll find he has a couple of runners aboard with only one out in the inning. Runners are at first and second with one away. behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate the one two high fly ball out to straightaway center Kane is under it and he brings it in for the second out of the inning settling in now Rymel Tapia so far two for three in this one Rymel Tapia Three and one. Two on, two out with the base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch and he can hit one out of the park on. Swing and a liner. And this is going to get down. Extra bases, and they're starting to make some inroads here. The runner scores from second. Now that the first baseman, Daniel. In now, Daniel Murphy. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there. But he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. Pulled toward right center field. Yelich is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Ryan Shaw goes on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Colorado, number 29. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the second baseman, Keston Hiera. Now the one and one pitch. 
takes a pass and misses that strike two. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. The 2 2 one more time. Hard hit ball to second. Scooped up. And there's one away. At the plate, Omar Narvaez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. One out, nobody on. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Ready for another shot now. Abisail Garcia struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Here's a fly ball well hit. Blackman going back. Still ranging back. And it's gone as they add still another. Stepping in now, Eric Sogard. Good idea with the change, but it's two and one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their... Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. Corey Knable is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Tyrone Taylor will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 15, Tyrone Taylor. The 2 2 is swung on and missed strike three. Here's Charlie Blackman now. He's working on a one for three thus far. And he fouls this one off. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Now the 2-1 pitch is laid off of for ball number three. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order. Colorado, good night. I expect this series to be a battle. So to take the first game at home is definitely the way you want to start it out. Give that whole crowd a reason to come back tomorrow for what will hopefully be another solid performance. 11 to 6, the final score in this ball game. The Milwaukee Brewers jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Brent Suter picks up his league leading 13th win. Antonio Senzatella allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersion. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Brewers, 11 runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. For the Rockies, six runs, 11 hits. One error. They left nine men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 55 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.